Hi, I'm Craig Phillips, and today I'm gonna to show you how to bleed your radiators. The simple tools you're gonna to need is a radiator key. You're just gonna to have to match this up with the little grommet end, the top of your radiator. Of course, you're gonna need dust sheets on the bottom and a cloth. Now, some modern radiators, you don't actually use a radiator key to bleed them. They just have a small slot in them so you can use a flat screwdriver. Now, the reason you're gonna to need to bleed your radiators is when they're not performing well. When you've got your sensor heating turned up to full blast, but you're not feeling the benefit out of the radiators. The simple test you need to do is feel them at the bottom. The likelihood they're gonna be nice and hot around the pipe and where it comes in. And as you move your hand further up, it starts to get colder. By the time you get to the top, it's really cold. The reason that's happening is because that hot water cannot get up because you've got air trapped in there. That's what needs to be bled out. So you get your key, start to turn it, generally quite tight, a cloth on there, that's it, so half a turn now, I can hear the air now starting to come out of there, as that air is hissing its way out, that hot water is starting to rise up here now, I can feel the difference, sometimes this can take 20-30 seconds, sometimes a whole minute can still hear the air coming out. Remember, it's quite a large radiator. There's a fair bit of air in there. If you cloth at hand, because at any minute now, your water will start to come out. And there it is now. You can see the water started to come out. All that hot water has worked its way up. There's no more air left in there. So of course, you put your key back in, nice and tight, and turn that so it closes it back up make sure it's nice and tight double check that there's no more water coming out in there now that should work perfect I can already feel the heat rising all the way to the top now, if you'd like some more information or some DIY tips and some helpful videos, please visit silverlinetools.com.